Okay, this is the second part of my soft body physics tutorial series. And in the first part, we just covered these edges here for how well they could compress, right? So just a little bit of compression set on this one here. And this one being set all the way at 0.99 was basically saying they just can't compress all these vertical edges like this, nor could they compress here because they have stiff quads. They can't compress on diagonal edges either. This one here, I don't have stiff quads set. I just had this so it could compress. So we'll just look at it again real quick and you can see that one's stiff. It acts like a rigid body in many ways. And But this one's able to bounce a little bit because I have it's not as stiff here, so it's able to compress. But so now this time what we're going to do is we'll do the opposite. Now we'll go back to this cube and change these settings up here, and we'll do the stretch version of it instead. All right, so basically this is for compression and this is for stretching. All the way set up here like this, I'm basically saying, no, you can't stretch at all. All right, so what we'll do, I'll do is I'll go back into the vertex group like this. I'll still use the same vertex group, and I'll use this. Uh, I'll use this setting so I can see the back side of it. I'll deselect these. Now these were all set at zero, so they were free to float, and uh, that's fine. Except, let me see if that would be the easiest way to do. It. Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do. This we'll do this. We'll grab these up here, but I'm going to give these guys a weight of one, and I'm going to assign it like that. So now what I'm saying is that these are fixed in place. These four ver vertices up top are fixed and these here are are free to float. Alright, so now let's leave edit mode and run the animation and we'll just see what happens first. Alright, now Alt A, I'll start it up and nothing happens, right? Well that's because even though I said these are free to float, they theoretically should start falling under the influence of gravity, but they're not. And the reason is, and it, of course you've probably guessed, is that if I go over to the physics tab and I look here for the setting that I have for the pull setting, I'm basically saying it at 0.99, these here that can be influenced by the vertex group, because it's set as a vertex group, I'm saying they can't be pulled. They're just stuck in place. You almost might think it's the other way, but it's basically they're stuck in place. So now if I was to just drop this down a little bit here, these are now can change. These can now have a little stretchability here. These can't because the vertex group is st is fixed in place at one. But these being a different vertex group can set, can move. So let's look over here in weight paint mode and you'll see. See here's the red. Red's basically solid locked in place. The blue is telling you it can go. So based on doing that, when I run this, let's see what happens. You can see here, see how it's kind of wiggling, trying to stretch itself out like that, right? So let's just see if we can drop it down. Let's crank it down. Let's see what kind of effect it has. See, it's trying to, under its own weight is basically what's happening. It's trying to stretch under its own weight. We'll drop it down even more. Right. Starting to float around. We'll get it down. And then if I went all the way to zero, theoretically, it should just fall right to the floor. Let's leave it down there. You can see now it's even less really free to float. And there it goes. At zero, it's going down. It won't go through because I have collision detection set, but you can see zero doesn't really work. So you need a little bit more, so I don't want it to stretch as much, but if I want it to be really stretchy, like this maybe, there it is. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea that I'm, and you know, also, I still have the stiff quad set on this, so it can't really uh, flip around on itself. If I got rid of these stiff quads, this thing might start actually spinning on itself a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, you see how it starts getting contorted like that? Because the, the stiff quads, remember, have diagonals going from like corners to corners instead of straight vertical edges like that. All right, but I'll put the stiff quads back on. And then I think that probably gives you a pretty good idea. And just between the previous lesson and this lesson, um, that's really enough to, to kind of start experimenting with and start finding like all kinds of cool things. Now I'm going to go into this in detail, this series. There's going to be a lot more of these lessons. But I would recommend just practicing with 
these two type settings on different objects and just seeing what kind of effects and then also well let's actually since we're here um, well now nah, we'll do it in there we're already running five minutes long on this lesson I like to keep them fairly short so I'll cover that in the next lesson with some uh, other physics effects with it okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson